times does this happen to you? You meet a person that you're very excited about because for whatever reason they draw you in. They have some unique personality trait, maybe they're over the top attractive or something along these lines. Maybe you meet them in class, maybe you meet them in the gym. You start thinking about them all day. You're always excited to see them. You can't wait till tomorrow when you're gonna see them again. And of course, you know, you're gonna ask them out eventually, but there's just something in the way. Something keeps getting in the way that's preventing you to asking them out. So a week goes by and you know, you're getting a little bit closer. Maybe you're hanging out a little bit outside of class or maybe outside of the gym or outside the regular environment you see each other in. and this looks up and up it looks like something that may genuinely work out for you but then it usually ends the exact same way this person that you've been fantasizing about that you think you're gonna have this wonderful life with it turns out that there is something the most common thing is that they're already seeing somebody else or that they're not ready to date all guys seem to have this story and it just hurts time and time again to have to retell these types of stories your thoughts of self-hatred and doubt just just keep coming into play over and over again and once again you go through the same process of starting to wonder if you're ever going to be able to find a real relationship but of course I'm not here to pick up girls that's never what this channel has been about I'm here to talk about how to get over a short-term crush so why does it always seem like every month you're going crazy for a new girl again whether it be a girl in class or the gym or even a restaurant that you like to frequent sometimes how do you get over these short-term crushes? You need to examine the big question. Why are you even fixated on these relationships in the first place? I already have a video going over how to stop fixating on relationships, but what if you're a person that no matter how hard you try, no matter how many of these videos you watch, no matter how many methods you try, no matter what type of meditation you're doing, you just can't seem to get over this. And it honestly just seems like you're hopping from one person to the next. You're not relationship hopping, but you're short-term jumping all over the place. It honestly is the fact that you're projecting so much of what you're not onto them. Usually it tends to be things that we are lacking ourselves. I've been someone who has gone through this entire process from middle school all the way up until even now. It's still something that I struggle with. Every year or even every month it seemed like there was a new girl that I was always thinking about. But all in all it comes down to things that you're missing in life. So in middle school it may have just been you know basic affection that I was missing so I craved that from any girl that came up to me. In high school, maybe it was just getting into a serious relationship for the first time, which is why I was constantly trying to find a serious relationship. And nowadays, it seems to be more that I'm craving someone who is doing work on their own. So anytime I'm able to see a girl who's working hard towards her goals, I'm immediately attracted to that. I honestly think to myself, this is a person I need to be with. But all in all, you're missing things in life. And cuddles and watching Netflix every night is not gonna be the thing that solves it. Because all it does, and from personal experience, I can attest to this, is make you feel empty on the inside. Side. Because instead of fixing your problems, you're just focused on being in a cute relationship, someone to do little things with, instead of actually focusing on your mental problems. An extreme analogy of this would be, imagine you had shitty mental health, just the absolute worst mental health. And instead of actually, you know, going to counseling and trying to work through these problems, you just smoked weed all day. Sure, it's a tiny little distraction, but it's not going to be enough to actually fix your problems. But because it feels nice, you keep doing it over and over again, and then eventually because you're not not able to buy weed anymore but for whatever reason when you stop smoking weed you realize that you're off worse why because you didn't put any effort into actually fixing the things that were wrong with your life put my spin on a famous quote you can't help someone else's life if you can't even help your own so how do you get out of this mindset how do you actually be able to grow from this goals yeah i know same thing i had in the stop fixating about relationships it all comes back down to gold. Even if it's just something as getting more reps in the gym, even if it's something like getting up a little bit earlier, even if it's something like getting more protein in your diet and just working on your calories, that is still huge. Eventually you'll realize that you won't even have time for crushes. You don't need to become an antisocial Ryan Gosling type or anything. But at the same time, when you do put this work in, you'll realize that when you eventually do get into a relationship, you're actually comfortable with that person and that you're able to focus on actually building a good relationship instead of trying to just fix all of your own problems while trying to fix theirs. So you need to start thinking of the future person that you want to be and then start figuring out a way to carve that person inside of you. And then eventually when you do get into that relationship, you'll realize that you're not just a better person for your partner, but a better version of yourself. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Make sure you scroll down right now. Make sure you subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to turn on notifications and to leave a comment. Stay safe, stay smart and start taking accountability today. Peace.